Hey, how's it going, nerd and nerdettes of art, and welcome back to the coolest, most hip channel in all of the YouTube. <laughs> and in this video, oh my god, what kind of intro was that? But yeah, <laughs> in this video, I, Diddy Diddy Mark, I'm gonna get to the point. So, you know, no goofy jokes, no cringy intros, yeah, none of that. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about six of the worst drawing advice I've heard that you definitely should not listen to. Now, now, these bad advices that I'm gonna cover in this video are ones that I've personally heard myself from people, but also from a lot of you guys who reach out to me and tell me about your experiences. But yeah, that being said, without wasting any more time, let's get right into it with these terrible, no good, horrible, bad art in drawing advice, yurt. But before that, really quick, yay, I graduated college. I can't believe it. I can't believe after four years of suffering through assignments, essays, deadlines, and terrible school projects, I made it out on the other side. And now that I've made it out on the other side, I can finally say I feel dead inside. <laughs> you know, so graduating college makes me feel nothing, bro. Like, I don't even feel accomplished, but oh well, it is what it is. The reason I tell you all this is because now that I've finished college, I'm about to go crazy as Diddy Mark this summer and beyond, meaning I'm going to be putting out more videos, content, comics, and all of that. So yeah, to finally get to the point, I made a Patreon nice. and there's three tiers. So if you want to support me and get some of the perks that come with the tiers, then consider checking that out. Besides, I'm going to need a lot of video topic ideas and yeah, I'm only going to be taking them from my patrons. Besides, if you become a patron, you get the highest esteem and honor of becoming a producer on this channel, like some of these nice folk you see here. So yeah, that's that. Consider the patron if you want to support me, but you know, that's if you want, of course. I'm just saying, y'all support me enough by watching these videos. But yeah, let me not blabber on for too long. Let's get back to the actual video. Okay, so the first bad drawing advice is when someone tells you to draw from imagination instead of drawing from reference or 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 drawing and using reference is cheating <sighs> y'all y'all please please don't listen to people who tell you this drawing from imagination is basically just recalling memory and how can you have memory to recall from if you don't study from reference in the first place essentially when you're drawing from imagination you're not learning anything you're just redrawing and upchucking what you already know or even might not know so instead, I suggest using reference, especially when you don't have a good memory of what it is that you're trying to draw. I've said it on this channel before, but if you find you don't know how to draw something, you should never be guessing what it looks like. Just just use reference, y'all. And, and yeah, that's it. That's, that's it for the first bad advice. Now, let's move on to the second one. And it's when someone tells you to practice more. And oh my God. I don't even want to talk too long about this one because I know for a fact that I've addressed this a lot in my previous videos, but essentially when it comes to this bullshit advice, it's not about how much you practice, it's about how you're practicing. For example, if there are two people, okay, and one of them is named John, right, and the other is named Julio Manuel Esteban Martinez III, what? and each of them wanted to get better at drawing. In trying to do so, John practiced for five hours a day, but he practiced the wrong way. As opposed to Julio Manuel Esteban Martinez III, who practiced for only 30 minutes a day, but did it the right way. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, in the long run, Julio Manuel Esteban Martinez III will get better faster because although he didn't practice as much or as long as John, he practiced the right way. So essentially, it's not about how long you practice drawing, it's about how well you're practicing. By the way, if you don't know what I mean by practicing drawing the right way and wrong way, you can go watch my video called best way for practicing slash improving drawing. And in that video, although I talk about my personal method for practicing, you can still get an idea for the general way of how to practice properly. But yeah, that's bad advice number two. For bad advice number three, it's when someone says to study and copy your favorite artist. Now, now upon hearing that, some of you might think, wait, Diddy Mark, what's, what's wrong with that advice? And you might be right for thinking that, as even I myself in many videos have told you all to steal from your favorite artist. But essentially, this advice is bad if you're telling it to a beginner, because a beginner does not have a good or good enough grasp 
of the drawing fundamentals. I've made it very, very clear in a lot of my videos that good foundational skills are necessary for a lot of the things that I cover, and that will always remain the same. The fact of the matter is, even the most stylized artists still have a good foundational skill. I myself can tell, I also know other professional artists can tell when an air quote stylized artist is latching on to the title of being a stylized artist because they don't have good foundational skills. Basically, to sum it up, don't get ahead of yourself trying to copy artists you like when you yourself do not have a good foundation because you know you'll be disappointed when you find that you can't produce work like theirs but yeah that's bad advice three but bad advice four it's when i hear someone say that you need talent to draw Nerdy. <laughs> this is stupid <laughs> and it's so stupid how this is the one that i heard from a couple people and teachers growing up myself like like, like, look at me now. Can you see me, Miss Gloria? Do you see me, Mr. Untalented? I've got like 20,000 followers on Instagram just from drawing. So up yours, lady. <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, are some people born more artistically capable than others? Sure. But just like dancing, welding, public speaking, video editing, and etc., drawing is a skill that can be learned. And it's a skill that can be learned by anyone. And yeah, that's all I'll say for that. For bad advice number five, it's when people say don't use black for shading. And for this one, I'm like, huh? Cause sure, I guess it might make sense if you're talking to someone who wants to be a realistic painter. But like, I hate how most art teachers, at least the ones I've run into, will try to enforce it on all their students. Like, like people have different art styles, or at least people want to go for different art styles. Like, like what? don't use black for shadows how have you ever seen a like any manga ever it's pretty much all black used for all shadows <laughs> like like even i use black for shadows religiously and i love it so yeah screw that unless you want to be a realistic painter you can use all the blacks for all the shadows for all i care so long as it suits your style so yeah so far we've gone through five of the worst drawing advice i've personally ever heard now let's move on to the last and final one and it's when people say anime art isn't real art. Oh. And to that, <laughs> I say, shut the f up, that's clown talk. And that's all I'll say for that. But yeah, <laughs> that's it. Six of the worst drawing advice I have ever heard. Thank you all for watching this video. I truly appreciate you lending my channel your eyes and views. And yeah, make sure to let me know what terrible art advice you guys yourselves have heard down in the comments below. I, I really want to see that. Also, also, like I said, consider checking out my Patreon for a lot of Diddy Mark perks and stuff. And also, if you want to have your name appear at the end of Diddy Mark videos like these awesome people here, that's another reason to check out the Patreon, I guess. I also want to say that I know I already said I planned on dropping more video content and blah 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 this summer, but I also have other other plans as well, and I guess I'll tell you all. So basically, at some point, I plan on dropping a full length video course in which I teach how to create manga pages from start to finish. And I'm, I'm talking from script to thumbnail to sketch to ink to tones, the whole nine, you know? And also, also, I'm planning on making a course on how to draw manga in the Jujutsu Kaisen art style as well because I know that rough sketchy line art in manga is trending right now and I know a lot of people including some of you watching right now want to tell your own story in that style so yeah I'm gonna make that course and you guys can be able to buy it and you know learn how to make manga in the Jujutsu Kaisen style so yeah besides those two courses that I'm gonna I plan on making I also want to do a weekly mini podcast called the artist's log the work is entitled right now i might change that you know and i plan to post that you know podcast on patreon as well so yeah sub to the patreon if you want that stuff more dd mark and basically updates on all these projects and more i'm going to be grinding a lot this summer so all the support i get is much appreciated you know even if it means just watching my youtube videos and yeah thank you to all of you know to all of you who already do that i mean i mean that seriously you guys mean the world to me but yeah i'm blabbering on too long Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when my dumb self drops a new video. And yeah, make sure to leave a comment because I, Diddy Mark, reads and respond to any and all comments. Till next time, art nerds, I have been Diddy Mark. Peace and love, baby.